many of you guys loved the smoky eye that I wore in my last video, my top five winter skin review. So I figured I would share another smoky eye rendition very similar to what I wore in that video, but using a different Urban Decay palette. So in the last video, I used the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette, but today I'm using one that I figured more of you guys would own, which is Naked 3. I love the rosy gold tones and you can still create a beautiful smoky eye that will make your eyes pop in pictures. So I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to film a get ready with me. So I showed you how to do the hair as well as an outfit change. It's pretty simple. But either way, I hope you guys find this video helpful. And I did purchase a couple new things from Sephora. So because they came in, I figured I would sprinkle them into this video. One of those discoveries turns out to be holy grail material. So make sure you watch through the video to see which product it is. Now without any further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. I am pretty much fresh out of the shower. I went ahead and blow dried my hair upside down with my T3 Pro Eye and I just ran a round brush briefly through my bangs just to style them a little bit. I'll finish the hair after the makeup and I am wearing my Burberry Fresh Glow Foundations. I mixed two colors, Ochre Nude number 12 and Beige 26, which I used on the outside of my face and I applied it with a beauty blender. Most of you know by now that I wear a cushion almost every day, but when I'm going out for a special occasion, I do like to wear the Burberry Fresh Glow Foundation because it doesn't flash back in pictures and it just looks really natural on the skin. Never cakey, really moisturizing, so it's great for winter. So now I'm going to take the Burberry Cashmere Concealer Concealer with my new favorite concealer by Urban Decay. This is called Naked Skin. The Burberry color that I'm using is porcelain and it's a little bit more on the pink side. So I like to use this under the eyes and the Urban Decay on my face on acne scarring and pimples. The Burberry concealer comes with a sponge tip applicator, which I actually like. I end up using my Micro Mini sponge from Beauty Blender to blend out the concealer for the most natural finish. But you can use your fingertips if you'd like. Just make sure to wash your hands first. If you are sick with the flu or if you have chronic dark circles, use a, an upside down triangle shape like this and it will really help to brighten up your entire face. And the pink tone helps to neutralize the extra darkness I have because I just got over the flu last week. So if any of you are sick, I hope you feel better soon so that you can celebrate Christmas and New Year's Eve and New Year's in good health. I really love this doe foot applicator because it's quite precise, especially on top of blemishes and the formula is really creamy so it doesn't flake or cake. I'm using the color called Light Warm and at first I thought this might be too light on my skin, but the undertone is just perfect for my complexion. And the last step for my complexion will be Benefits Lemonade, which is an eyelid primer with a yellow tone. And I've been trying more eyelid bases because I've been seeing my concealers and my eyeshadows crease more often. I don't have particularly oily lids, but it's just nice to have that extra brightness, especially in the inner corners and the outer corners of the eyes. So I'm going to use my Hourglass palette and I'm going to use the slightly yellow tinted powder, which is called Dim Light. And I'm just going to use this to set everything in place. And now I'm going to take my beloved Burberry Fresh Glow Compact and set just where I need to. I'm going to be using bronzer today, so I'll be using number 12 Ochre Nude just along the sides of my nose because I get particularly oily there. Then on my T-zone, on my chin, and anywhere I applied concealer. On the eyes today, I'm going to be using my Naked 3 palette, and I just love the rosy tones in this gorgeous palette. So I'm going to create a slightly smoky eye because I just want to mix things up. And I'm going to start with the color called Strange. It's a dusty pink that's a matte finish, and I'm just going to pop this all over the inner corner of my eye. Mixing Nooner and Limit, I'm going to pop that into the crease. I'm using all the matte shades first today. I actually really love it. I'm going to take that same combination along the lower lash lines. Make sure you take a clean blending brush. 
give it a seamless, smooth transition. I have a lot of lid space to work with. So I diffuse upwards. the way this eyeshadow looks but if you want something a little less dramatic you can feather out the top with the same brush we used for the transitional color now if you like this kind of look then I recommend going all the way to the end as well don't reduce the sharpness of the line because that's part of the appeal but make sure you really diffuse the front half of the eye and really focus on softening up that lid so now I'm going to finish up the eye color with dust in the inner corner. I'm just gonna blend that out. And this will help to lighten and brighten. If you have tan skin or dark skin, you can use the color Burnout if you find that this is a little too bright for you. Then I'm going to use Factory to smoke it out just a little bit. This definitely anchors down the whole look so we don't have a super top heavy eye look. But now we are done with the eyeshadow and I'm gonna put some eyebrows on so my face doesn't look so pale. <laughs> I decided I wanna try something new so I purchased the new Troy Surratt eyebrow pencil on sephora.com and I really love the packaging. It goes from shimmer to matte. It's actually quite unique. And since I've been wearing straight brows, I might add a bit of an arch depending on how I feel. Sometimes my brows cooperate, sometimes they don't, so we'll see how it goes. More than anything in my makeup routine, my brows actually take the longest. So, if you're with me on that and you feel me and you understand what I'm saying, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Oh man, this pencil is really nice. It's quite pigmented, it's smooth, I like it. If you haven't already guessed by now, yes, this is my first time using this pencil. I really like it. I think this is probably the best Troy Seurat product that I've tried. Oh my gosh, this is like Anastasia's brow pencils, but a hundred times better because it's not clumpy, the pigment is great, but there's no flaking, it's just ultra creamy. Thank goodness I decided to try it. So the spoolie is a little stiff, but it does work really nicely. Ooh, I'm starting to get a little sweaty there. That's what happens when I film. Now I'm just applying Surratt's liquid liner. And instead of making it dramatic, I'm going to keep it thin. I'm going to wiggle the brush tip into the base of my lashes. And that way it will make my false lashes and my real lashes look more seamless. Now I'm going to just swipe on a little bit of mascara. And to wrap up the eyes, I'm going to pop on these velour lashes, the silk style called Let's Take a Selfie with their amazing velour lashes glue in black. I've worn velour false lashes for so long and I was really happy when they launched these silk styles in Sephora. It took me a while to try all of them because you know, I'm a creature of habit. I love my mink lashes, but these silk styles are so lightweight. I can wear them all day. They don't lift as easily as the mink lashes because they're not as heavy or as full, but they're still even quite dramatic styles like this Let's Take a Selfie. I absolutely love this one because it has more of a pointed flared look as opposed to My Life's Complete even, which I wore in my last video with the Urban Decay palette from Gwen Stefani in a smoky eye style, very similar to this. I think this is a little bit more rosy, a little bit more photogenic, but I highly recommend this Let's Take a Selfie Lash style from Velour. Now I'm going to take my Ambient Palette and I'm going to use the bronzer color along the temples as well as my hairline, make my forehead look a little bit smaller. I always forget how heavily pigmented these hourglass powders are, so make sure you tap off the excess on your brush before for applying to your face. I like to tap and then use sweeping motions just so I don't go a little too crazy. And to complete my complexion, I'm going to use the Surratt Highlighter. It's a beautiful champagne color and I'm going to use the same brush that I applied my powder with 
just to dust it on the high points of my face. And a lot of girls have raved about this, so I wanted to try it. It does have a really soft, silky smooth, and very creamy, powdery finish. I really like it. The packaging is itty bitty, so it's perfect for a travel sized makeup bag. But overall, I just love the performance. I am loving that it doesn't make my pores look large. So two thumbs up for that Surat product as well. And now I'm going to finish up with a pink lip. I'm going to be using a YSL Rouge Volupe de Shine, and I'll list the color down below. It is more of a My Lips But Better shade, slightly on the cooler side, but I thought that this formula, because it is so creamy, it makes the lips look fuller, it softens any flake and it smells so good. It would be the perfect lipstick to wear for a holiday party, Christmas party, or New Year's Eve out. It's a little on the cooler side, so if you want to warm it up a little bit, you can top it with a pink lip gloss that's a little bit warmer. I'm using Burberry's number 25 Nude Pink Kisses Gloss, one of my trusty favorites. I usually keep this one in my purse because it's so flattering anytime, any day. And that is a wrap for my Christmas and New Year's Eve look. I hope you guys like it. And of course, now I'm going to finish up my hair and put on some clothes so you can see the whole effect. To finish my hair, I'll be using my T3 Micro Twirl Trio, and I'm using a clipless barrel, the largest one, because I don't want any indentations in my hair. It's fast, it's easy. Whenever I use a clipless barrel, I don't look for perfection. I just look to have really tousled, really full, pretty hair. Now that my hair and makeup is complete and I have put on a decent shirt, I'm going to just go ahead and top it off with my favorite black jacket. I like neutrals in the winter, especially when I am wearing a little bit more makeup. And also, dark colors are more slimming in pictures after all. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope you all have a wonderful and safe holiday season. Whether you wear this look for Christmas or for New Year's, just remember, wear whatever makeup look you want with confidence and have fun. I'll see you next time, bye.